In this video, we'll take you on a journey through the top 10 things to do in Tallinn. From exploring medieval castles to immersing in vibrant culture, Tallinn offers a plethora of experiences that will leave you captivated. So, fasten your seatbelts, and let's dive right in. Number 10. Varu Gate. The main entrance to the old town, Varu Gate's twin towers were built in the 14th century and were once part of a more extensive system of gates and towers. Very well preserved, the gate's towers lead onto Varu Street, a very busy pedestrian street which is home to lots of little boutiques, restaurants, and street stalls. Entering the old town through the ivy-covered stone towers certainly makes for a very memorable introduction to Tallinn and is sure to leave a lasting impression. Number 9. Olaf's Church. Named after King Olaf II of Norway, this wonderful church is the largest remaining medieval building in the whole of Tallinn. Built in the 1200s, it is still in remarkably good condition despite being struck by lightning numerous times over the centuries. Once one of the tallest structures on earth, its lofty spire towers to a height of 123 meters. From atop of it, you can enjoy breathtaking views out over the city. While its interior is quite stark and sparsely decorated, it is still well worth venturing inside to see some of the brilliant stone carvings on show. Number 8. Estonian Open Air Museum. If you're interested in learning more about the country's rich history and heritage, then no trip to Tallinn can be complete without visiting the Estonian Open Air Museum. The sprawling collection of 80 or so reconstructed historic buildings is fascinating to wander around, and the small village is home to farms and mills, as well as a church, inn, and schoolhouse. Besides taking in all of the marvelous architecture, you can also enjoy weaving, blacksmithing, and cooking demonstrations, these highlight what life used to be like in Estonia back in the 18th century. Number 7. Tallinn TV Tower. The tallest building in the country, the Tallinn TV Tower reaches a height of 314 meters and is located to the east of the city. Opened just in time for the 1980 Summer Olympics in Moscow, the tall mast was erected to improve telecommunications in the region. This saw it stormed unsuccessfully by Soviet troops in 1991, when radio operators broadcasted news of Estonia's independence. Visible for miles, the TV tower dominates its surroundings, with its observation deck offering up incredible views out over the country. In addition to this, it also has a great restaurant for you to try out, as well as some interesting interactive displays on the history of Tallinn and Estonia. Number 6. Seaplane Harbor. Now part of the Estonian Maritime Museum, Seaplane Harbor was originally built in 1916 to house Peter the Great's seaplanes. Stretching away before you, its cavernous concrete interior makes for a majestic sight and is intriguingly lit up by lighting that wouldn't look out of place in a nightclub. Now home to lots of historic boats, submarines, and, of course, seaplanes, the extensive collection is magnificent to peruse, with some of them dating all the way back to World War I. Besides the hundreds of planes and boats on display, there are also some fun flight and submarine simulators for you to try out, while its outdoor harbor houses yet more ships and yachts. Number 5. Kadriard Park. Located on the outskirts of the city, just a stone's throw away from the Baltic Sea, the huge Kadriard Park is a very pretty and picturesque place to stroll around. Commissioned by Peter the Great all the way back in 1718, the park is home to lots of lovely trees and flower beds, with sculptures, fountains, and ponds found dotted here and there. Tucked away among all the delightful nature is the gorgeous Petrine Baroque Kadriard Palace, which now houses an art museum and other fantastic institutions such as the Kumu and Mikkel Museum. Number 4. Tumpi Hill. Despite only rising 20 or 30 meters above the rest of the old town, Tumpi Hill's prominent and strategic position has long connected it to power and prestige. On top of the small limestone mount, you can find a wealth of important and impressive historical sites, with Tumpi Castle found alongside Street. Olaf's Church and Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Reputed to be the grave of Kalev, a mythological figure in Estonia, the mound is an amazing place to wander around. Besides the many beautiful old buildings, it also offers up some great views of the city around you. Number 3. Alexander Nevsky Cathedral. Only completed in 1900 when Estonia was still part of the Russian Empire, Alexander Nevsky Cathedral looks absolutely stunning with its red walls, bright white ornamentation, and black onion domes. Set on top of Tumpi Hill, the cathedral exhibits some exquisite Russian revival architecture, with its interior boasting some wonderful wooden iconostases and marvelous mosaics. 
Due to its prominent and possibly provocative position atop of the mound, the cathedral was long seen as a symbol of oppression by Estonians and was scheduled to be torn down after independence in 1924. Number 2. Town Hall Square. The beating heart of the city, much of life in Tallinn revolves around its bustling Town Hall Square. Lined by fantastic old medieval buildings, of which the Town Hall itself is the undoubted highlight, the large square is ringed by cafes, bars, and restaurants, and regular markets are held in its center. Whether it's stopping for a drink or a bite to eat at one of its establishments or buying souvenirs at the market, there is certainly a lot for you to see and do, and many of the city's most famous sites lie just a short walk away. Number 1. Old Town. Home to lots of majestic medieval buildings that were built between the 15th and 17th centuries, Tallinn's Old Town really is a mesmerizing place to explore. Hemmed in by the city walls that lie all around it, you will find atmospheric cobbled streets, charming churches, and historical monuments, with lots of fantastic bars, restaurants, and cafes also on offer. Very well preserved, its centuries-old buildings display several different architectural styles, while its fascinating museums take you through the city and country's rich history and heritage. Although it is now quite touristy, the old town is not to be missed out on for the plethora of incredible sights it has to offer. Don't forget to like this video, subscribe to our channel, and hit the notification bell to stay updated on more exciting travel content from around the world.